This was me. Every time I came home. Before I lifted my truck, every chance I got, any little downtime, I'm looking at lifted F-450s. Just to try and get a idea of what I wanted my truck to look like before I lifted mine. And looking on YouTube all day. I'm pretty sure I was not the only one that used to do this. What's going on guys, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you enjoyed that sequence that I put together for you guys, man, let me know. Um, I decided to just do something, try to add a little different element to the channel. Uh, but that was pretty much how I was going throughout the whole process when I was looking to build my truck when I first got my truck. Um, just trying to look up ideas and see how I could go about building my truck, how to start out the build, and looking up the different lift kits. So uh, as you saw that video, today's video is gonna be kind of something similar to um, not my last video, but the video before last where I kind of talk about uh, the ways to start your build. So this video today is just all about the different uh, lift kits for your F-150. Uh, we're going from smallest to biggest. Uh, I'm featuring some builds that I that I like. So, but what, enough of me talking. Let's get right into it. First thing first, we're gonna start off with uh, leveling kits. So leveling kits about two two inches, uh, two and a half, three inches, whatever. Um, and with leveling kits, obviously you got several different brands and companies you can go with. You have BDS, Rough Country. Um, I think Motofab, something like that, whatever the name of it. But you have all these other different brands. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna insert photos and videos of to the people who I reached out to of their trucks. And some of the videos you're gonna see are videos that I've grabbed from YouTube. But anyway, man, let's go ahead and jump right in. This first person truck, this might be, I'm pretty, it is actually, I'm not gonna say might. It is one of my favorite level F-150s out there. And his Instagram goes by that black 35. He has a 2015 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, man, that thing is clean. It's on a two-inch Rough Country leveling kit. He don't have the uh, spacer. He had the struts. So he said that ran him about 350. And he's on 20 by 12, negative 44 offset motor Magnus wheels. That costs around 1500. And he also got those wheels powder coated. 331250 versatile MXT. He, he said he paid, you know, give or take around $2,600 for the setup. Uh, um, so you can see on the wheels, like I said, he got the 20 by 12 wheels. Uh, you saw he negative 44 offset. So you can see he got a little bit of poke, as you see in some of the uh, pictures that I'm posting. Let's move on to the next lift. I found this guy on YouTube, so I'm going to link his YouTube. His name is uh, Terry Jer Germano. Germano. I don't know if I'm saying that right. My bad, bro, if I said it wrong. But um, he have a 21 F-150. It is the 5.0 V8. So he's on a 4-inch BDS lift kit. Uh, he got 20 by 10 wheels, uh, fuel wheels at that with Nitto, with Nitto uh, Ridge Grapples 295-60R20. And man, as you can see, the truck is clean, man. Like, uh, I, the 21s, I haven't really been a fan of that much, but they are low-key starting to grow on me, I will say that. Um, the grill, I'm still not so much of a fan of, but man, his Terry, bro, your truck is clean, man. So this next truck you all have seen on the channel before, probably a few times, um, is my bro Titus. He has that black, another black 3.5 EcoBoost F-150. He have a, I believe it's a 2016, I believe if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to try and get him on the channel again sometime soon. So yeah, he's on the 6 inch Rough Country lift. He's on 20 by 9, I believe. He's 20 by 9, 20 by 10, one or the other, um, on 35s. And uh, for his Rough Country lift, he has the strut instead of the spacer that's his truck i got another six inch lift that i want to show you all well, pretty sure you already know of his channel um i tried to feature him in the other video that i did but somehow the audio got mixed, mixed up and messed up and you couldn't really hear what i was saying but obviously you saw the videos this guy here uh i was always watching his channel whenever i was getting ready to uh buy a truck um as well as getting ready to build my truck and everything and this guy here is kicking it with q um, he's on a six inch rough country lift uh, and he had the vertex coilovers so I'm pretty sure right now he's at about seven inches seven and a half with the co with the coilover setup maybe I'm not completely sure now when I first started watching Q he was on 20 by I believe 20 by 12s I believe 
um, on 35s, and now he's up to 24 by 12s, and that thing is massive. And he's on 37, so he on 24 by 12 TIS wheels with 37, 13, 50 Nitto Ridge grapplers, I believe. And man, that them 37s is massive, bro. Like, like your truck, well, man. What you did with that ruby red is clean. Like he got the um, BDS up and control arms on the truck as well, um, just to help with that big load and that big setup that he have. So. That's kicking it with Q Truck, man. Shout out to Q. Uh, I'm hoping one day, man, I can come out to Texas. I really want to come out to Texas and do a, uh, either link with you or link with some other uh, guys and uh, other people's trucks who I see on Instagram, who I follow and everything. But anyway, man, hopefully one day we'll get that coming soon. This next lift kit, uh, we're going to stay in the 6-inch range. Um, so this next truck, this is a 6-inch BDS lift kit. This was, I was actually, when I was looking for my truck, before I decided to go ahead and get the 8 inch FTS lift kit, I was gonna go with a 6 inch BDS. Um, reason being is because BDS have a good reputation and they have a good warranty policy. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I was gonna go with BDS and um, a lot of people have seen the brag about how, you know, the rock, it doesn't really change the rock quality. Like the rock quality is, is actually good compared to like other brands like Rough Country. So this next truck is, his Instagram is Rolling Pennies. Uh, is rolling dot pennies actually he have a 2017 f-150 uh, i don't know if it's an eco boost or a uh 50 so i'm not quite sure on that he have a six inch bds lift kit and he's sitting at about six and a half inches uh from what he was telling me and he's on 22 by 14 fuel forge wheels that powder coat really set the truck off like the power he got the upper upper control arms powder coated the wheels powder coated um everything that powder coat really set that black off um it's a different look so we're gonna go up an inch and we're gonna go up to the seven inch lift kits both of these trucks that i'm gonna feature in this video you all have seen in the channel you have seen on not the last video but the video before that so first one i'm gonna go with is mike living with 3m mike has a seven inch ready lift uh lift kit and he's on So this next truck, my boy Alex, he have a seven inch ready lift lift kit and he actually have the Rough Country Vertex coilovers on the um, lift. And he said, man, that that Vertex coilover helped smooth that ride out. Like it rides so much better. I'm not sure if it if it took it up an inch or not. I um, forgot to ask that question, but he's on 24 by 14 XF off-road uh, wheels with uh, 36, 14, 50 Versatire uh, MTs. MXT. The next lift, we're gonna take it up one more inch. Um, we're gonna go up to the eight inch lift, and the eight inch lift is my truck. <laughs> so my truck, uh, my truck is a eight inch FTS lift kit on 24 by 14, uh, 36, 14, 50 Versatire. I got my suspension, all that powder coated Illusion Blueberry, um, and I think it gave the truck like a, a perfect look. But we're gonna go on to the next truck. We're gonna go up to a actual 10 to 12 inch lift kit. So this next truck, um, I follow him on Instagram. Like this truck is like huge, bro. So my guy Scott, his Instagram is Blue Jean 5.0. So he has a 2019 F150 50 V8. Um, he have a 10 to 12 FTS lift kit. Uh, with the coilovers and the rear shocks, he got 26 by 14s on with 38 1450 Fury, Fury MTs. So this next truck I'm gonna feature, I got this video off of YouTube, and this truck here is massive. It actually have the same lift kit as oh my guy Scott Blue Jean 5.0, the 10 to 12 inch lift kit. He's on 24 by 14s with 40s. Good lord. Um, I know I've seen posts recently about people asking how do you get the 10 to 12 inch FTS lift kit. So from what I've realized and found out that you actually have to go to FTS directly. You have to call them to get a quote and everything for the lift kit. Um, I'm not sure what it runs. I'm pretty sure it runs over $5,000 easily. Easy because uh, right now you, the 8 inch lift kit is with the coilovers is like $5,000. This next truck, we're gonna go up even higher. We're gonna go up to a 16 inch lift kit. This thing is crazy big. Like, I know I said the last two trucks was massive. Like, this is like beyond massive. Like, 
this is like SEMA type shit. It's another video I got off YouTube. It's on a 16 inch bulletproof lift with 24 by 14 wheels and 37, 14, 50 tires. Huge. Um, but yeah, man, like, so check out, check out this video. This thing is crazy big, man. This thing is crazy big. Like, this truck is humongous. Um, this is up there with like SEMA type builds now at this point. But yeah, guys, man, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got more video on the way. And man, we on the way to a thousand subscribers right now. At the time of this video recording, we at 773. So man, let's share this video with your friends. Tell them to subscribe to the channel, and I will greatly appreciate it. But until then, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one.